Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today, I'm going to show you how to take a sleeve of saltine crackers and transform it into candy. We're going to be making saltine cracker candy. Now, this may not sound all that appealing, but I assure you it is. This was first introduced to me years and years and years ago, back when I was in college. My roommate, Jamie, shout out girl, I miss you. And I was converted. This recipe is so simple and so easy and absolutely delicious. You only need four ingredients. So I've actually never made this candy myself. I just remember Jamie making it in our kitchen but it's super simple, super easy. And the recipe I'm gonna be using comes from a blog called Sugar Spun Run, and I'll put a link down below to the original recipe if you'd like to check that out. Behind me, I have my oven preheated at 400 degrees. We're just gonna use it for a few minutes, but we do need it hot. So the first thing we're going to do is make the toffee portion of the candy. So I've got a saucepan here, and we need brown sugar. So brown sugar, needs to be packed when you're measuring it. And my kids love this part. When you dump it out, we call that a sand castle. <laughs> brown sugar is of course just granulated sugar with a little bit of molasses in it, which gives it the brown color, but it also lends kind of chewiness to desserts because of that extra molasses. So one cup of brown sugar, two sticks of butter, or one cup, and we're just gonna melt this. Once it comes up to a boil, we're gonna boil it for exactly three minutes. So I'm gonna set that to the side. So because my oven is small, I'm gonna be using two quarter sheet pans. I'm gonna line this with some foil. I'm moving the sugar around so it doesn't burn. We don't wanna agitate it too much once it gets boiling. So I just don't want the sugar by itself on the bottom there because I don't want it to burn. Now we're gonna take some butter and we're just going to grease the pan. Looks like my toffee is coming to a boil here. So I'm gonna give it one final stir to get that butter incorporated. Now I'm gonna set my timer. Oof. Now we're gonna line our pans with our crackers. And the recipe says salt side up. Oh, perfect. So this pan fits exactly, ooh, 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 24 crackers. Oh, I love that. That is a very good feeling when they all fit perfectly like that. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful. Three minutes. And I'm gonna divide this between our two pans. Oh, yes, smells so good. It smells like buttered toffee. Make sure we get all the way out to the edges. Let's pop these in the oven for five minutes. Boop, boop. And that's just gonna rewarm that caramel layer so that when we add our chocolate chips, they will melt a little bit more readily. Get all these crumbs out of here. Gosh, I'm gonna have to do some sweeping. Oops. Well, that's going. I'm gonna chop up some pecans. I'm gonna do a couple handfuls. One, I'm gonna do pecans, and one, I'm gonna do sea salt. I'm gonna be using some Alea sea salt. This comes from Hawaii, and it's got a beautiful pink color due to the red little minerals it has in it. These are nice and hot and Whoa. bubbly. Beautiful. Quickly, we're gonna sprinkle our chocolate chips all over the top of this. I'm trying to do this at the same time to capitalize on all this hot caramel here. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna place this back in the oven for two minutes so we can give the chocolate a little bit of heat so we can spread them out easier and just smush all this chocolate down. Oh, pecans. Sprinkle that right over the top. <laughs> Smooth the chocolate over this one. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. 
then this one's gonna have a little bit of sea salt. Okay, so we're gonna let this cool just a little bit and then we're gonna place it in the refrigerator and let it sit for at least 30 minutes or until everything has firmed up so we can break it into bark. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Alrighty, my lovelies, it's been over an hour now since I placed our salting cracker candy in the refrigerator and it is ready to cut up and to, to give it a taste. Ooh, let's do this. Okay, I have one, two pans of candy. Dun, 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 dun. The salt and the pecan. Oh, look at that. Peels off beautifully. If you want this to have more of a bark look, you can just snap it like that. Look at that. Or we can cut it into pieces if we like. Now let's do the pecan version. Now the one I remember had nuts, so I'm gonna give this one a taste first. Here we go, itadakimasu. <laughs> Delicious. Mm, mm, mm. The combination of brown sugar and butter together makes such a delicious kind of toffee butterscotch flavor. So delicious, buttery and sweet. So in terms of texture, the butterscotch isn't crisp like a toffee, nor is it stretchy and sticky like a caramel. It's kind of like a little hybrid in between, but the flavor is delicious. The salting crackers in the middle provide this really great crunch. They absorb both the flavors of the chocolate on top and the toffee down below. Absolutely delicious. And I love that contrast of kind of slightly sticky toffee below, crisp, cracker in the middle and then you've got this nice snappy chocolate layer on top. The chocolate we used on top is a combination of bittersweet and semi-sweet chocolate. It's slightly bitter but a great balance to the very sweet toffee down below. And then you've got these decadent pecans on top which add more crunch but also a lovely buttery flavor of pecans. Mmm! So good! And the salt on top of the saltines is such a great foil to all the sweetness as well great little balancing of flavors. This reminds me so much of the English toffee that I would get once a year at Seas Candy. My mom would go to Seas Candy, I grew up in California, to buy chocolates and sweets for her coworkers. And I would always get a sample of the English toffee. It was my favorite, so, so good. The combination of toffee, chocolate, and nuts. Delicious. Let's try the sea salt version. Ah, here we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's actually quite salty. I would use less salt if you decide to make this version. Just a couple pinches rather than about a quarter teaspoon, which I use. The saltines are also very salty. So the salt on top plus the salt from the saltines makes this a little bit too salty, but a delicious, again, combination of toffee flavors, crisp salting crackers in the middle, and then beautiful bitter sweet chocolate on top. Mmm! So good. Of the two, I prefer the nut version. Just more nostalgic in terms of flavor combination for me. Plus, I really like the crunch of the nuts. But both of them are fantastic. You could also add other toppings as well. Crushed candy canes, butterscotch chips if you like them, peanut butter chips or peanut butter swirled with the chocolate. You could just infinite possibilities here. Super easy to make. This would be a great one for the kids to make, but so, so easy to make with delicious, tasty results. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, my beautiful lovelies, that's how you can transform ordinary saltine crackers into a delectable, giftable candy. So stinking delicious. So stinking. I almost forgot to mention, you can get yourself a So Stinkin' t-shirt. It also comes in a hoodie, also in kid sizes. I'll put a link down below in case you are interested.
Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. some self-restraint. Stop putting the candy in your mouth. Okay.